When it comes to the WWE, I am all for this company trying different things and doing things differently. You know, for example, convincing USA Network to stop doing three hours of Raw and going back to two hours would be a big, huge win for a lot of us. That's just one. You know, maybe not having so many pay-per-views. That would be another win. Because you know, there is such a thing as too much of something, and there's too much wrestling for WWE, for the company, for the people in the company, and for the fans as well. So, anything they do to reduce it would be great. So, of course, the WWE just can't help themselves and decides they want to give you even more wrestling. The Mix Max Challenge, coming to Facebook Watch, January 2018. I'll humbug on this shit! Don't we have enough already? You got a three hour Raw, two hour SmackDown, one hour NXT, pay-per-views. You expect people to watch the network crap, the other specials that you do. And now, lo and behold, the WWE 205 Live are just thinking of shows. Now they want you to watch even more with this stupid premise of an intergender tag team tournament that's going to be airing over the course of several weeks on Facebook Watch. 20 minute episodes, Lottie frickin' da. We're gonna have people from Raw, men and women, and people from SmackDown, men and women. They're gonna be teaming up, and the team that wins gets $100,000 donated to their charity. What a fake carrot if I've ever heard it. And humbug to this crap in general. The last thing we need are more randomly thrown together matches that have no consequence, have no purpose, have no real meaning or reason, and that's exactly what we're going to get. The WWE on their site might like to sit there and talk about how ooh, we're going to have storylines playing out via Facebook and the different social media venues and all this other horse shit. You can barely put together stories for your main shows. Now you're going to sit there and test your people with yet another thing to do. This is so stupid. So stupid. And what's even more ridiculous about it is the fact that this isn't airing on the WWE Network. You know, WWE, the thing that you expect people to pay $9.99 a month for? You already have a lack of original content on, on there anyways. You cut some of the original content you did have. So here's something that you're creating that you would think logically would make sense to put on the network so that way people feel like they get more of a bang for their buck and instead the company's doing it on Facebook Watch. And I see right through the WWE on this crap. There is one reason, and believe me, there is only one reason that they are doing this. They are trying to put themselves in a position where they are strengthening their relationship with Facebook to use them as a leveraging tool when it comes to renegotiate their television contracts in 2018. That is it. If you think it is about anything other than that, you are a fool, fool, fool. It is exactly what this is about. WWE is trying this out in a 20-minute format each week to see someday, A, if airing Raw and or SmackDown or maybe an NXT or whatever the case might be on Facebook Watch is a feasible, viable option for them because they look at somebody like Facebook as they're trying to get more and more into traditional type of medias in an internet 21st century type of way that having somebody like WWE and the international audience that it has could be appealing and that is true. And from the WWE standpoint, instead of trying to negotiate against themselves with the USA Network, they can sit there and bring somebody else to the table that potentially would drive their price up, which would make it a much more successful negotiation of the television contract than last time. And that's what this is about. This is nothing more than a test run for the WWE to consider whether or not they're going to air shows in the future on Facebook. Period. This is all about the television contract. This is all about trying to figure it out, seeing how it would work, what the response would be, what the audience would be. It would give them more of a true number of who would actually watch it, and it will allow them to have more people watch it internationally. So I get the premise, and I get the concept. But at some point, and dang, damn it, enough is enough with the freaking interwebs.
Sharing this shit on Facebook is stupid. The thought of Raw and or SmackDown being on Facebook in the future would also be stupid to me. Because what happens if the site crashes? Furthermore, why would anybody pay for your WWE Network when they get a lot of this crap for free on the internet already any damn ways? It's just mind-blowing to me. And back to the mixed match challenge. Was there a great desire to have these intergender tag team matches? Did we really need to put together a tournament for this? If the WWE had such a hard-on for doing a tournament and wanted to make a special out of it, you could have done, oh, I don't know, King of the freaking Ring! Where this actually could have had a purpose, it could have had significance, it could have had meaning, and it could elevate somebody. Instead of doing this ding-dong dumb dick, what in the bluest of blue fucks are you doing, stupid-ass random crap show? But I guess what the hell does it matter? Because a lot of the WWE fans have no freaking standards anymore. A lot of the WWE fans seem to like the randomly thrown together crap. Because it's all about the match. The match. The match. The match. Dang that's wrong. It's not just about the match, you stupid idiots. And at some point in time, the WWE shouldn't be rewarded for doing more of the same bad crap that they do. And giving us even more product that is even more randomly thrown together with no real purpose or meaning. I mean, come on, $100,000 in their charity for a freaking work? How stupid is this? Jiminy Christmas. This is so dumb, I'm sorry. Maybe some of you think it's cool. Maybe some of you like it. Maybe some of you are like, yeah, the girls can play too. Ah, shut the fuck up. Humbug on this crap. Because I know where this is going. And I don't like it.